basi elimu hapa kilifi mheshimiwa naibu wa rais kilifi yetu upande wa elimu tuko chini tuko chini kwa sababu ambazo ni nyingi sana lakini nataka kusema chache kati ya sababu hizo Aa, mimi kama Constance na mwakilishi wa elimu wote hapa kilifi nataka kusema kuwa tunashukuru wale viongozi ambao wako katika mashinani ama wako pamoja nasi kwa sababu ya kuboresha elimu lakini changamoto kubwa katika kilifi yetu ni infrastructure majengo yetu katika mashule yetu ama shule zetu za kilifi majengo yetu bado hayajaimarika japo kuna viongozi ambao wame, uh, wako kipaumbele kuimarisha majengo hayo Ah ni eh, patie nafasi ya kuwataja kidogo ah, kama mheshimiwa wetu Aisha Jumwa naamini kule kwake Kilifi anajaribu kufanya hilo. Mwenzetu pia hapa kiongozi wetu ONB pia tunamuona mashinani akiboresha majengo yake. Lakini nafikiri ule mgao ambao tunaupata kutoka kule juu Mheshimiwa naibu wa rais, ule mgao ambao unateremsha hapa kwetu. Tunaomba unapoingia tunapendekeza nafikiri neno hilo umelisema tunapendekeza kuwa uh, mgao ule unapokuja kwa sababu ya majengo kule mash, uh, mashuleni tunaomba uongezwe natumai kuwa pengine haututoshi ndio maana shule zetu kule tukiziangalia ukiingia kule ndani ndani utakuta shule ambazo ziko duni sana hivi ninavyosema katika shule yangu majengo hayatutoshi because of the 100% transition Nasema kuwa elimu kwa watu wote lakini majengo hayatutoshi. Nikisema majengo pia vyo. Unajua kuwa kuna shule ambazo aa, hata tunaingia vyo pamoja na wanafunzi mheshimiwa rais. Walimu wote tunaingia vyo pamoja. Kwa hivyo hili serikali yako inapoingia ishukulie kati. Vitabu mbeleni ilikuwa kuna mgambo unaletwa mashuleni ambapo tunajinunulia wenyewe vitabu. Lakini serikali ambayo yuko katika tawala sahi wanatuletea vitabu ambavyo hatuvioni. Tunaambiwa tunaletewa vitabu lakini hatuvioni and the other stationery. Kwa hivyo tuna upungufu wa vitabu katika ma, a, mashule yetu. Hilo uliangalia tunalipendekeza katika shule zetu. Pia elimu ya bure. Tunaambiwa elimu ni bure lakini mimi sijaiona kuwa ni bure. Elimu hii ambayo ni ya bure lakini watoto kila uchao unakuta wanarudishwa nyumbani kwa sababu ya malipo. Eh? Serikali yako tunaipendekeza inapoangalia eh, inapoingia. Liangalie ikiwa ni bure tujue ni bure. Ikiwa ni tutoe mgao fulani jamani tuhamasishwe hilo. Ah, tunajua kilifi yetu kwa sababu ya ukame, eh, mashule pia natetea kuhusu mashule. Mashule wengi wanafunzi wengi huwa wana drop wanaacha mashule kwa sababu ya njaa. Kwa hivyo hizi food programs katika zile shule ambazo wana shida ya kutokufika mashuleni. Tafadhali mheshimiwa rais tuangaliwe hilo. Naam, namalizia mbona unanipatia wakati huu. Tunaangalia CBC pia. Fumo huu wetu wa elimu hautuhudunishi lakini na, ya, na naomba ama napendekeza serikali yako inapoingia ichunguze zaidi kuhusu CBC hatuielewi vizuri sisi kama walimu tunataka tujue hizi talents zinaendelea wapi ikiwa ni talents mtoto alili jamani serikali hiyo ingilie samahani haya pia tunataka pia the performing students in Kilifi County wale ambao watakuwa na 400 and above wawe full sponsored hivi ninavyosema kuna wanafunzi ambao bado wako nyumbani hawajajiunga na shule za upili jamani serikali hii inapoingia muangazie kitu kama hicho sitajisahau pia mimi kama mwalimu na walimu wa Kilifi wote maslahi yetu tunaomba mheshimiwa naibu wa rais yaangaliwe Mshahara tunaongezewa lakini hatuoni maana. Tunasoma lakini hakuna promotion. Tunabaki na degree zetu na mshahara duni, tunakatiwa mishahara kama hiyo NHF unaosema. Sisi tunafanywa double uh, deduction, NHIF na AON. Hatunasimamia afya. Hasa si ugonjwa ni huo mmoja. Kwa nini tunakatiwa kote kote? Tuangaliwe hiyo. Pia tunataka 
kupea e, training zifanywe pia hapa mashinani tunaomba tuwe na teachers college in Kilifi here hatutaki kwenda shanzu tuende malindi talea tuende kaimosi hapa wengine watuwezi kusafiri kwenda huko sababu ya uchumi na amesema kuwa sisi ni watu wa bottom up na mama constance thank you very much mwalimu uh, cbc uh, tutazidisha mjadala kati ya stakeholders naam tunajua ya kwamba pengine iliarakishwa kabla the whole system was not ready you are right the principle is right mm. but maybe the implementation has challenges yeah we need to ensure that uh, we harmonize between the teachers the students and the other stakeholders pia na wazazi wanalalamika ya kwamba wanalala saa 8 usiku wakiangaishwa kabisa <laughs> so uh, tutaona vile tunaweza kuwashirikisha na pia tuwe na mpango ya kutosha kweli na kubali ya kwamba bado kuna ma- malipo shuleni naam na nyingi ya hizo malipo ni kinyume ya sheria and i agree with you we should either decide that there is payment or there is no payment very right so Mishini. that the parents know are they supposed to pay or are they not supposed to pay so nakubaliana na wewe ya kwamba lazima tukubaliane sisi wote what is the position what is the policy are parents supposed to pay anything or they are not supposed to pay anything alafu mambo ya njaa ni kweli wanafunzi wengi wana drop out ya shule kwa sababu ya njaa kabisa ningependa kuwe na mpango especially our county governments nimesikia kwa mfano mwenye anawania kiti ya ugavana Nairobi county amesema serikali ya county itatoa lunch kwa watoto wote wa mashule ya Nairobi county yeah. kina Aisha na kina George nataka mufikirie vile mtafanya kwa watoto wa Kilifi County. Eh, ni lazima mufikirie. Eh, eh, wakati mnasitafuta hizi kura mujipange hapo. Alafu mambo ya infrastructure tunaamini ya kwamba wabunge watazidi na kuendelea na hiyo infrastructure fund ile vile hawa ambao umewataja hapo wanavyofanya mm. kuboresha infrastructure ambayo inaendelea huko kwa mashule. Mm. Uh, so mama Constance asante sana kwa mwazo. Asante sana na pia mwisho kabisa swala la transfers na delocalization. Tunatolewa kaunti yetu kupelekwa kaunti zingine ambapo uh, familia zetu tunaziacha mara mabwana zetu wamechukua uh, <laughs> Kwa hivyo swala hili jamani Especially the head teachers wale wetu ambao tumewaamini wengi wamekuwa delocalized to other areas na wale sorry to say wanaoletwa huku jamani hakuna ambacho tunakiona kwao swala la delocalization kwa walimu tafadhali na the pay rise naomba tafadhali napendekeza walimu tuangaliwe masilahi angalau pia sisi tuwe vizuri asante sana nimekubali ya kwamba it is not right for you to pay double for matters to do with the health yeah i know for example teachers pay for nhif yeah they also pay for Uh, the private um, i think aon minet or something yeah aon so we will see there must you can only pay once you cannot pay twice yeah. for the same service alafu vile vile to um, we know there is shortage of teachers and because there is shortage of teachers walimu wanafanya kuzidi ile malipo wanapata so we will again look at that na mwisho Um, mambo ya delocalization ambayo inavunja familia za watu mm. we have to think about it yeah, kwa sababu tumesikia hiyo jambo sehemu nyingi walimu wanalalamika ya kwamba familia zao zinaharibika kwa sababu mzee akitumwa huko anaenda anashughulikiwa na watu wengine kule so, asante sana 